hello overcomers welcome or welcome back in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to create same pattern designs on your covers so let's just go straight into the video so i want you to go to google and type kdp cover calculator and when you are here you take this first one so the dimensions you are going to be putting here are going to be the ones that are related to your book so let's say that we are doing a paper bag a black and white and white paper page 10 direction is left to right and then we are doing inches and our trim size is 8.5 by 11. let's assume that our pages are going to be 120 pages so when you do that you just calculate the dimension and after you calculate the dimension you just download the template when you go to what you've downloaded it's going to have three files inside the one that we are interested in is this one that says png so this is the information we are going to put in canva in order to be able to calculate our dimension please you need to make sure you take note of this so that you don't have errors in your kdp when you are trying to upload the book so you are going to use this information i'm going to show you how i'm going to do it so some of you have been having difficulties uploading this template to your canvas so i'm going to show you two ways to do it so for the first way i want you to come to the png and then you copy it so now let's go to our canva if you don't yet have canva you can just sign in for free or you can have a 30 day free trial with my link down below and you will have all the premium features for 30 days for free and of course you can do that and if you don't want to you can always unsubscribe so now that you're in canva you come to customize so when you come to customize you change this to inches and then you put the dimension that we had that i showed you earlier 17.52 by 11.25 and then you just create here so now we have our blank canvas so if you had copied your png file you just come here and then you paste it i'm using a mac computer so i press ctrl c to copy and now i'm pressing ctrl v to paste and so when you have it here you just pull it out and then you make sure it fits exactly and the reason why you are having this template here is just to guide you to see where your front page is where your spine is and where your back page is at the end when you are done with your cover you are supposed to delete this template so you don't need it there so the second way to do it you have to come here to this place that says upload and then you click here to where it says upload files then you go to wherever you have saved the template on your computer so for example this is mine right here and then i'll just come here and i'll upload it so you wait for a while after it's uploaded then you just click on it and then it's going to come here so this is the second way to upload your file and now you just do the same thing and then you pull it to make sure it gets to the end to the edges perfect so at this point depending on what cover i'm doing what i like to do is that i'll come here and i'll reduce the transparency so that it's not on my way and it will help me to be able to see well i hope you've understood how this works and you are going to use this for most of your covers but the cover i'm going to be showing you today i'm just going to show you how you can also do it without necessarily using the template you must make sure that you calculate the dimension just as we did earlier so now that we have our blank page what i want you to do is that i want you to come here to color and look for any color that you want maybe you want to use this color that has this kind of gradient you want to use a single item and create the same pattern so you can come here to element let's say we, you can whatever thing that you want to use maybe you wanted to do like dinosaur you wanted to do a dog let's say on this cover we want to do a butterfly we can come here look for any one that you like you can take any one it doesn't matter if it's one or it's two you can still use any of but let me just use this so now i'm going to reduce it to the size i want it to be let's say i want it to have this size like this then i'll copy it and then i'll paste just make sure it lines up the good thing about canva is that canva shows you how to line it up so now that it's like three i'll just highlight this three copy it and paste and now we have six then i paste it makes it easier when it's like more so you see how easy it is so i'll highlight everything come here to position and then click on tidy up make sure that it makes everything to become straight then now i'll group everything together so that will be easy for me to manipulate it and carry it around now i'll just copy and then paste look at how easy it is then i'll put it like this just make sure it's straight now you copy the next one you paste it we just do the same thing throughout and now that we have a certain number you can just even highlight everything copy and paste and then take everything like this look at how easy it is now we have our whole cover the next thing that i want us to do is that you just come here again to element you can take this one 
and then you click on it like that see it brings out the colors already that are already on the cover so this is actually good but if you want to change this you can come here and then change the color any color you can take any color you want so but i actually like this one that it has given me so what we'll do is that you pull it here and then pull it up pull it here and pull it down and then you just make the shape like this so this is the spine you are making you know how like when you look at composition books they have that black spine or whatever color so that's what we are doing here so this one you can just use eyeball and see how it looks good for you but then when you are done with this you come here you click on position and then you come here to center it's going to centralize it for you and put it in the middle you see how easy it is that's why i was telling you that you really don't need the template to make this cover now the next thing that i want us to do is to come here again to element and maybe take something like this oh it has given us a different color now now because we have this i always like to make sure that my colors blend so i won't take this color and this color because it doesn't look good to me like i said before when you are putting it you see canva will show you exactly where to put it and some of these things when you do it many times you realize that it will become so easy so i'm trying to put something that i can write maybe like a notebook if you are doing a composition book you can put the information that you need to put here anything that you are doing so let's say that this one we're creating a notebook i'll change this color and make sure i take the same color then now i'll go to element and take this and i'll just type notebook i can type notebook like this then just make sure that it fits on the same line then i'll carry it from here and put on this part so i'll just make it to fit to look really good so maybe you have a particular font you are using for your brand or you want a particular font you just come here to font and then you can change it to whatever you want it to be so i like this one so we can just leave it like that so it's like notebook so overcome and see how easy it is it looks so pretty to me i really love it if you have the same interior and you want to make different colors what you can do is that you can just come here duplicate it and then it comes here and then you just come here maybe you can change the spine maybe you want the spine to look a different color maybe you want it to look like this so you see how easy it is that we have changed the cover already if you want to make anything fun here you can come here and maybe increase the roundness of that shape you see how it's changing or you can even come here and even add like a border on it see how it's what is happening so you can do that maybe we want this color to be on the border so you see how different it is so, so another thing that you can do is that let me just take this one row out and then you can come here and actually change the color see when you change the color it looks completely different it looks like a different cover you see what is happening you can change the color you can change the design and so you see what is happening you just change it like this and then take whatever you like it just makes it into a different cover that's how you can do and you, you can create a brand and just put only notebook you are going to be able to make money so when you are done with everything i want to download your cover you just come here to share and then you go to download you make sure that it's on print pdf you just change it here and make sure it's on print pdf and then you come here i'm downloading page two so i put it here on page two and i'm done i come here i make sure i take best of professional printing this one cmyk that's what i'm going to take but if you don't have the pay subscription then you are you are just going to go with this one it's okay but of course you can use my link down below and you have a 30 day free trial so now we do this and we just come to download and it's going to download your cover so you just use it now and upload it to amazon kdp so if you found any value from this video i encourage you to like the video and if you've not yet subscribed i want to encourage you to subscribe and become a part of the overcoming family on this channel i teach you practical ways on how to be able to make money online and i also motivate you to make use of your god-given talent i'll see you in the next video love you all so much bye bye it's been a while since we laid down to reflect